Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechieB and today's video will be taking a look on Xenon HD which is a new room for Xiaomi Mi A1 so without wasting any time let's get started this will be the first look of your room it comes pre-installed with Nova launcher which has lots of customization options under Nova settings going to the software information about phone and you can see device model is Mi A1, Android version 7.1.2, ROM is Xenon HD with security patch of 5th Jan 2018. In this video, I'll be showing you all the features of this ROM along with the features, we'll also show you battery sats, benchmark results and at the end of the video, I'll also show you how to install this ROM on Xiaomi Mi A1. Almost everything is working on this room without any kind of issues. I've been using since one day and uh, I'll show you the battery sats what I've got it on the first cycle. This room comes pre-installed with a mold wallpaper application, audio FX, camera works great on this, FM radio, phonography application and substratum theme engine. You also get omni clock which is a dynamic clock. It has lots of customization options under configuration but before going to that we'll check out what are the customizations available under settings main panel. Under configuration we'll take a look later but before that going to buttons here you get one hand mode, backlight, power menu, end call which can be done using power button, long press power button for torch, wake device using home button, home button can also be used to answer call double tap actions are also available going to display here you have adaptive brightness live display which can be used to change the color temperature and also you can change the color calibration from here display also consists of theme option in which you have only two themes one is the light and next one is the dark theme prevent accidental touch expanded desktop options are also available on this room Moving on to gestures, here you have jump to camera, double tap to sleep on status bar. If you just tap power button twice, it will directly open up camera application. Let's see. And you can see the camera application opens up. After that, you have double tap to sleep on the status bar. So you just need to tap twice on the status bar to make your device go to sleep mode. Now moving on to configuration. So under this, you have many options, career label, suspended actions, quick unlock so here you can enable quick unlock you, as soon as you enter your pin the device will automatically unlock if you have entered the correct pin code fingerprint authentication vibration can be enabled from here you also have fingerprint unlock after reboot so if you guys do not want to use the pin after your device boots up you can enable this you have few other options like hide status bar clock widget date widget alarm text emergency button Charging info can be enabled or disabled from here. This will give you the battery temperature on the lock screen while device is charging. You can also change the date style. Along with that, you have option to change this font size of date and clock. Three finger screenshot option is available. So you just have to slide your three fingers to take screenshot. Show memory bar. If you enable this, you'll get memory bar on the top of recents. Clear all button location can be changed from here. You can keep it towards the left, right or the bottom. Quick setting options give you options to arrange rows in landscape and portrait mode and also you can increase the number of columns. So these are the customization options available on this room. Now talking about the performance. So I've taken benchmark results using Antutu Bench application and Geekbench application. So talking about Antutu Bench application, under this scores were 77,043 and with Geekbench application I got results that is single core 866 multi core 4283 talking about battery backup going to battery screen on time and this is a screen on time which I got it on this room that is 5 hours and 52 minutes almost 6 hours with 14% of battery remaining gaming performance on this room was pretty much good I did not find any kind of lags while playing games on this device so guys these were the things about the room and now let's take a look on the installation process to install this room you need to have adb drivers installed on your pc or desktop after that you need to have all these files which i have mentioned here so one is the magisk file 
Google App Package Recovery, that's a deadman recovery, and the ROM file. And also make sure to unlock your device bootloader. After you have completed all these things, and just boot your device to fast boot mode. If you're not aware how to boot your device to fast boot mode, first power off the device. And once you power off the device, you need to hold volume down and power key together to boot your device to fast boot mode. And after that, you'll see a symbol of fast boot. And then what you need to do is under ADB folder, you need to open command prompt. So that is in address bar, you can type CMD and command prompt should pop up. Once you have opened command prompt, then you need to load the recovery file. Before that, if your device is not unlocked, you need to unlock your device by typing fastboot OEM unlock. And before typing this, make sure you connect your device. And after that, once you type fastboot OEM unlock, hit enter. And as you can see, it says device already unlocked. So my device is already unlocked, so I don't have to unlock it again. But you guys, if you are new to this process, you need to unlock your device. After that, copy this recovery name and paste it in the command prompt. So before pasting, you need to type fast boot, boot and the recovery name which you have copied now. So just paste that name and type dot img after that. Hit enter, your device should boot up in recovery now. Once your device boots to recovery, you need to go to wipe, advanced wipe, wipe everything from here including internal memory. I don't, I'm not using USB OTG now and nor I have micro SD cards so that is not required. Swipe to wipe and once this is done then you can go back and reboot your device to bootloader again. After your device again boots to bootloader or fast boot mode. Type the same command that is fast boot boot recovery the recovery name which we are using hit enter and let your device again boots to recovery mode once your device again boots to recovery here now you need to place the rom file google app package and the magisk file so copy all these three files from your desktop and paste it inside internal memory of the device once you have successfully copied those files, now you can go to install and first make sure to install the ROM file. After ROM is successfully installed, do not install anything now. Before installing anything, reboot your device again to bootloader. And after your device boots to fast boot mode, again you need to load the recovery file. This time you can install the Google app package and after that you can flash magisk file or else your device won't reboot. So make sure after flashing Google app package you should flash magisk file that is available in the description below. Now go back and flash magisk. Now the installation process has been completed you can reboot your device and wait for your device to boot up so your device will take somewhere around four to five minutes to boot up once it boots up complete the initial setup and you are good to go and if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below so guys as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video and if you like the video do give me a thumbs up also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day